Hello, my name is Bridget Garst and I'm going to be discussing the first few chapters in The Power of Habit. Um, so a habit occurs because our brain is constantly looking for ways to save effort. In order for it to do this, um, it uses a process called chunking, which the brain converts a sequence of actions into an automatic routine. And this is pretty much the root of how a habit forms. Um, the habit loop which consists of three different steps, cue, routine, and reward. This is how um, our brain develops habits because the more we complete this loop, the more it becomes automatic and then eventually it becomes a habit because we start to anticipate and crave the reward um, that we get from completing that loop. Um, when habits do form, it allows our brain to stop participating in decision making and so then therefore it doesn't have to work so hard and it can divert its attention um, to other tasks. So now that we know how habits are formed, we're going to discuss how to change a habit. The most important thing to remember when trying to change a habit is creating a craving that um, makes the cues and rewards work because the craving is what powers the habit loop. So in order to change a habit, we're going to have to put together a cue, a routine, and a reward, and then develop a craving that drives that loop. A cue and a reward on their own are not enough for a new habit to last. It's only when our brain starts to expect the reward is when it starts to become automatic. So if you use the same cue and then provide the same reward, you can shift your routine and, and change your habit that way. Almost any behavior can be transformed if the cue and reward say the same. So if you want to change a habit, you must first find an alternative um, routine and then your odds go up for success when you also commit to be a part of a group, such as an exercise group or a women's group. Um, being around those people help you stay committed to your routine and your habit loop. Also, belief is essential and um, you believe more in yourself uh, when you see other people um, experience or go through the same thing that you did. They start to believe in themselves when they start to see that other people have um, made this journey and have succeeded. And that can even be one or two people. It doesn't have to be a large group for that belief to occur. As for personal experience, um, reading this book has helped me kind of pinpoint some of my own bad habits and I'm going to take some of the tips that I've learned from the first few chapters and try to apply them to my bad habits such as nail biting to see if I can um, fight through those urges and cravings to bite my nails when I'm anxious or I'm taking a test of some sort. So, But I've really enjoyed reading this book and I look forward to reading more and I'll talk to you guys soon.